Hi everyone, it's Guy Gelso here. Here's another rock and roll history lesson coming up right now. Dazed and confused from Led Zeppelin's 1969 brilliant first album, the last song on side one, and that was back when you had to flip the vinyl over to hear the other side. It was also the first time we heard those famous John Bonham triplets. It was a moody 12-8 slow blues, which builds slowly, breaks down into this famous middle section with Jimmy Page using a violin bow on his guitar before it takes off into the stratosphere playing a guitar solo. But that was not the only band that played Dazed and Confused with the guitars using a violin bow. I'm dazed and confused, I'm hanging on by thread. That's Jimmy Page with the Yardbirds, which he used to play in before Led Zeppelin. And what happened was in 1967, a folk rock singer named Jake Holmes opened for the Yardbirds and the band loved his song, Days and Confuse. Page adapted it for the Yardbirds and it was on the Yardbirds 68 album and adapted it again for Led Zeppelin, where it became this huge hit for their live shows. Jimmy Page was just one of three great English guitar players in the Yardbirds. In 1963, Eric Clapton got his start with him, but he left in 1965 to play the blues, and he recommended his good friend Jimmy Page for the spot. Page was doing so well with his session work, he recommended his good friend Jeff Beck. Must be nice to have friends like that. With Beck and the Yardbirds, they produced several of their biggest hits. Well, one night at a show, bass player got really drunk and he quit right in the middle of the show, and Jimmy Page was at the show, and he agreed to fill in on bass until the rhythm guitarist could learn the bass parts. And he eventually moved to guitar, and at that point, the Yardbirds had both Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page playing in the same band together playing lead. Now, of course, that didn't last long. And in 66, Jeff Beck quit and Jimmy Page became the new leader. They toured for a while, but the band was falling apart. So in July 1968, the Yardbirds played their very last show together. Jimmy Page had decided he wanted a heavier sound, but with different textures and sounds. And now in comes Robert Plant to sing, who recommended his friend, John Bonham, from a previous band he was in. And Page brought in his good friend, John Paul Jones, who he knew from his session work. Now, they initially toured as the New Yardbirds, and when they came back off tour, they recorded an album of material that would include Days and Confused. But they needed a new name for this band other than the New Yardbirds. In 1966, when Page did a recording session with Keith Moon of The Who, he thought it was so great, he suggested a supergroup together. And Keith Moon said, well, that'll go over like a Led Zeppelin. Well, Page remembered the name, and he changed Led, L-E-A-D, to L-E-D, and Led Zeppelin's name was born. First Zeppelin album was a huge hit, and Days and Confused is a big part of their show. Jake Holmes, though, did not ask for credit right away. But in 2010, he filed a lawsuit, and the matter was settled out of court, and now credits read Jimmy Page, inspired by Jake Holmes. So that's the amazing story of one song, Days and Confused, and how it weaved through all these different bands. Hope you enjoyed it. Practice hard and keep it simple. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, ring the bell. Give it a thumbs up and comment. That's very important to me. I love to hear your feedback. Follow me on Instagram at Guy Gelso, and also don't forget to check out GuyGelso.com. There you can enter your email for any new events and shows I'm doing, and to get in touch with me for private lessons. Thanks for watching. Practice hard, and keep it simple.